Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Danny, and this is your fitness empowerment for the day. Again, welcome back. Today is, well, you should be watching this on the 20th of February, Monday. Hopefully you have the holiday off. If you do, great, I hope you enjoy it. If you don't, so sorry. Uh, I can't really do anything about it. But um, we're gonna discuss three things in this video today. First of all, if you don't know, I am a bikini bodybuilding competitor and I am about six weeks out as of Saturday from my first show of the season. So I'm really excited about that, making a lot of progress, hoping that everything I share with you guys can help you with your progress in some way or another and you can find it relatable. So the first thing, <laughs> relating to that that I want to discuss is what I do with my meals as far as traveling and different meal prep companies and different options that you might have available to you. The second thing I want to discuss is the Emily Hayden posing clinic I attended. And then the third thing is I did a glute and chest workout this morning and I will be doing a voiceover to explain the workout to you guys and hopefully it should give you some new exercises to work with and some new things to incorporate into your own glute and chest routines if you don't do these exercises already. So let's get to it. What's going on you guys? Let's discuss some meal preparation companies. So I prefer Icon Meals at this point in time. It is based out of Texas and that is where I currently live. So financially the shipping and handling it makes sense for me to use a company out of the same geographical location. So that should be a determining factor for you as long as you enjoy the company and the types of food. Icon meals, you can customize your own meals and get your vegetables and your protein by the pound, or you can do the uh, weekly meals that they provide and they change every week. They're all delicious. They have lots of good high protein snacks as well. I have additionally used a company called Bite, Co Bite Meals out of Kentucky and New Vision Nutrition, not sure where they're out of, but there's different companies all over the place, so find one that you enjoy that can help you out if you don't like to meal prep your own food. What's up you guys? This is some posing practice from the Emily Hayden Posing Clinic in Houston at the Alpha Elite Gym on the 11th of February. Uh, truly the video does not do justice to just what she brought to the table and all the one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching and critiquing that she gave to everybody. So huge shout out to her. Everybody had an awesome time. There were 12 of us and I know that we all learned a ton of information and just brought back a better package than what we started with that day. So thank you again to Emily, and I'm just going to let a little bit of her pointers and tips play for you guys. There's not going to be any background music because it was a little bit loud in the gym already with their background music, okay? Don't forget when you're done, like, woo! Like, make sure you hold that composure the entire time you're on stage. From start to finish, even the last, like, when you step down from the stage until, like, they literally cannot see you. You're always being judged. Just remember that. I'm just going to go ahead and teach you guys the basic pose. And if you're going to put all your weight into one basket, I feel comfortable moving to my right. So if I'm here, I put all my weight back on this right hip. Okay, good. So the next step from here, you're here, your weight's back here. Now you have to angle your upper body towards the judges. Square off towards the judges, and basically your lower body is going to be going in the opposite direction. So it's very uncomfortable to start with, but this is what it's going to look like. So you're here. Now you're going to turn your upper body towards the judges, and your lower body is this way. So your belly button is pointed out that way. So lower body that way, upper body towards the judges. You want to keep smiling. I can't breathe there. Okay. <laughs> They don't want some dance, they want, they want front and back. And 
however you can get there in the most classy, elegant, efficient way. I don't want to say quick, you don't want to rush it, but efficient and you want to like put it together. So if you try to do it too much, sometimes it just becomes too much. When you hit your side pose, you're rolling your hip, pushing out that glute to feel it. So when you do it, you're stepping all your weight on that front foot, rolling it, can you feel that? And then notice your back foot, so I always say heel to toe, it's going to help you push that glute out even more. So like I don't want to hit the pose one, right? I'm going to What's up you guys? Welcome to the workout portion of this video. If you skipped ahead through the posing, then welcome to the workout as well. Um, we started off this workout with a warm up on the Smith machine. I just did two sets of 10 squats. I had my feet a little bit close together and out in front of me just to get the glutes warmed up. So nothing crazy here. My first real exercise was this kneeling squat. I don't do these too often, but I feel like I can lift a lot heavier weight than when I do them standing. So give them a shot and uh, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And in case you're wondering, all of these exercises I'm showing you with eight count for each set that I have shown here. And I have not sped up or slowed down any of these clips, all real time. The next exercise was Smith Machine Glute Kickback, more like a kick up. I would have preferred to do this exercise facing the opposite direction, but I could not keep the little hinge from hooking back onto the Smith Machine and I didn't have anybody there to, to stop it, so I had to do it this opposite direction. Um, I wasn't happy about it, but it was still a decent exercise. It was still really hard. I did not even have to put weight on the bar. Third glute exercise is the reverse hip abduction machine. I can lift a whole lot more weight when I do these in the reverse form. The only thing I caution you on is when you start the exercise, position your feet or your toes pointed outward so that your ankles don't hurt when the machine is at its outermost point. It's 
really hurt your ankles if you don't have your feet positioned properly. And yes, it looks awkward, just deal with it. All right, I moved into some chest exercises and this is just the incline bench dumbbell chest fly. Unfortunately, this is the only chest exercise I recorded because I ran out of room on my camera and that was that. But I did some cable crossovers after this as well as machine incline press, uh, the hammer strength machine. And I also superseded those exercises with push-ups till failure. So thank you guys for clicking on this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I love showing you these workouts. If you have any questions about them, please let me know. Um, other than that, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. I will see you guys in the next video.